Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten here, bringing you part 19 in Let's Play The Sims 4, Nancy Drew. Looks like bills were just delivered to our mailbox, and they're pretty expensive, unfortunately. 2,681. Oh my gosh, look who's jogging by our house. George is out for a morning jog. That is so cool. That is so like George. I hope you're having a nice jog, George. Nancy, it looks like, just woke up. And she's heading downstairs. It is a beautiful sunny day. It is hot, though. It's a very, oh, it's, there's supposed to be a heat wave today, so it's going to be very warm out. Ned, it looks like he is going to watch some TV before he has to go to work, which, hmm, what can we yeah. get you to do that would be a little bit more productive? He needs to play chess and get his logic skill up. There is a logic book upstairs that he could probably read and still get some fun from, because that's why he's watching TV. He wants fun. Let's see. Let's open up our bookcase here. Mr. Ned, why won't you do what I tell you to do? Open your bookcase, Ned. There we go. Okay. Um, Is this a logic book? Yes. Read Logic 1, an introduction to logic. I want you to do this, Ned. Because what time does he have to go to work? He uh, has to go to work woo. from, ooh, 12 to Nancy. 9. That's kind of a crummy work mm -hmm. schedule. He works Monday through Friday, which is nice, but he has to work kind of in the afternoon and all through the evening, which would kind of inhibit any plans you would have for hanging out with friends. That's unfortunate. Nancy, however, has the day off today, so she's turning on the TV, eating her oh, scrambled eggs and oh, bacon. Oh, is she watching a movie? The Narla would just She's watching a movie about um, a lost dog. It's called Lost Dog's Journey. Maybe she's doing that because she really misses Togo. Togo is her dad's dog, and Togo had to stay at home. Uh, very um, annoying. So I feel Way like Nancy bug. might Farsica. be having some pet withdrawals. And you Der know, boing. we do have this hip, really hip. big house here Ugh. that would be perfect for a pet. We could consider doing that. Maybe we'll adopt a pet. That's kind of expensive, though, and the fact that we have to pay um, $2,000 in bills is a little concerning. What was it, 2400 something? Two th oh, no, even more, 2681 It also says get mail, so there's some mail that Nancy needs to get as well. Okay, Ned's reading up in his logic book, which is good. He acquired the logic skill. Nice job. He is... Oh yeah, logic skill one already, good. We will get him a promotion in no time. How is his garden doing, by the way? We do have a few things that we can harvest from the garden and sell, which would be good. And there's also some flowers that we could use in flower arranging. I was thinking about maybe expanding the uh, greenhouse at some point, so there would be another little like just work area over here where we could put maybe some bees and a flower arranging table, but we are kind of strapped for cash right now, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Ned, let's not turn on the music while Nancy's trying to watch TV. <laughs> you goofball. That would be so distracting. Yeah, see, Nancy's heartbroken about this. I think she really wants a puppy. And you know what? I had kind of an idea for this episode. So Ned has to work today. Um, and he's going to be gone all night. And Ned has been doing all sorts of amazing things for Nancy, basically her the entire time that they've been together. He has always been the one who's really been like planning dates and trying to make an effort in this relationship. Mm -hmm. And I think Nancy is now in a place where now that she's not uh, jet-setting all over the place trying to solve mysteries, she's in a place where she wants to set um, plates down on her nice fireplace, Nancy. Oh, nice. <laughs> she's now in a place, I think, where she um, realizes that she's probably been taking Ned for granted. So I think today she's going to want to do something really nice for Ned, which I think is really sweet and I think Ned would really appreciate. So I think we're going to do that. Once Ned leaves, we'll get Nancy uh, to do something fun for him. It is a hot day, so I'm going to have Nancy change into one of her uh, hot weather outfits. Let's change outfit into something that will come up and will be very cute. I shall take a sip of my tea while I wait for Nancy to decide to change into an outfit. <laughs> and listen to me! These sims, I swear. Cheers if you're having a tea or a coffee or water or any other kind of drink. 
Why are you staring at the dishwasher, Nancy? You have finished loading the dishwasher. It's probably because Ned was supposed to go to work forever ago. And um, because my clock system is weird, he didn't go to work. <laughs> He, yeah, he's about to go to work. That's why I was getting sketchy. Okay, what's a good hot weather outfit for Nancy? Um, why don't we go with this one? Because I have a feeling Nancy's going to be moving around a lot today. That's quite the outfit for work. Okay, um, can we put the book not on the floor, please? Can we maybe put it on, I mean, even the mantle of the fireplace would be better than on the floor. There you go, Ned. It's waiting for you when you get home. Okay, so Nancy has changed into her hot weather gear. So now she'll be comfortable, even though it's really warm outside. And Ned has um, headed out. He's gone out. So let's have Nancy. Um, can she? Why? This plant does not need water. It sure looks like it needs water. This one looks like it needs water. These are all of Ned's trees. He's got an apple tree, a plantain tree, and an avocado tree. That just doesn't fit. Can we have Nancy maybe uh, sell all of the carrots and stuff? Carson Drew is wondering if I want to come over. Oh, Dad, that's really sweet. Um, yes, I suppose. We'll go over for a little bit. We'll go over and visit Carson for a little while because Nancy's got the day off. She can kind of do whatever she wants. So we might as well swing by Dad's house. Maybe see Togo, and that'll get Nancy really thinking about wanting a dog. I would kind of love for them to have a cat, too. But I just get the feeling that Nancy and Ned are dog people. I'm a cat person, so I'm a little biased towards wanting to get them a cat. Plus, cats are just tend to be easier to take care of. But I see them being more dog people. And probably, I think a big dog would really suit them. Ned probably really enjoyed living with Frank and Joe because they had Sleuth. Um, and they still have Sleuth. And Sleuth is absolutely adorable. So maybe we'll try and get a big doggy. That could be another thing we could do for Ned before he gets home. We could adopt a puppy. Oh, but it's so expensive. I think it's $100 to adopt a puppy. Can we ask Dad for a loan? <laughs> Hanging out with family. Yeah, let's just go hang out with a family. Let's go um, give Hannah a hug. Say hi to Hannah. Um, Hannah's watching a movie, too. Oh, she's watching the same movie Nancy was watching. That's so cute. Uh, maybe it was, uh, it must have been on TV or something. Um, and Nancy yes. and Hannah were watching it at the same time. There's Togo. Togo. Yeah, go give Hannah a hug. That'll be really cute. Uh, Aww. Hannah is probably asking Nancy how she's been doing living on her own. Let's go give Togo a hug too. Go give Togo a hug. Moochie Togo Peachy. again needs Shady a bath. Blue. Togo gets yes. into so much dirty Shady. stuff. Chabina. But <laughs> Navi We got a great new bed, don't Hannah. It's yeah. really comfortable. Free but uh, I blue. don't know what I would have done without you growing oh. up. You taught me all of these amazing recipes that I've been trying out at oh. home. It's been great. Now let's give Togo a little hug. Togo's like, why did you leave me? Why did you go away? Is Carson even at home? I feel like Carson's probably at work. Did he just say, you know, <laughs> Hannah's been um, missing you, so you should go over and see Hannah. Maybe, um, are these the cookies that I was going to have? They are. Nancy's not skilled enough. I wish you could ask Hannah um, to make those peanut butter cookies for her, because that would be really cute. Oh, did you give Togo a hug? That's adorable. Um brush Togo. What else can we talk to Hannah about? Let's go, oh, talk about cooking. Yes, ask her for some new recipes. So now that I've moved out, Hannah, I need, um, I need some uh, advice on things to cook, quick things, you know. Ned and I are kind of busy. Toss. Complain about cooling oh, costs. Espinal. The bills are really big. Thanks. <laughs> it's Yoga. crazy living in your own house. You have to pay your own bills. You have to make your own food. I'm not really used to all of Smartest. this yet. Tour of Quink. Yeah, she's like, it's so expensive, <sighs> Hannah. $2,000 for oh, our first Naba bills. Quink. Quote a movie scene. Do you remember the scene? Bon um, and Gravy? When they do oh, find the didn't. dog and the dog is no longer lost. I loved that part. <laughs> oh, Hannah. Tell her an engaging story. 
Can we show her some pictures from when we went to Selva Dorada? I think that's a like interaction we Bruhana have. Bruhana Fabisi. People. Arvani Shopshin mm. Zubar. Rinka Dalpa. I guess we can, we can do a lot of things though. Kinniku Swarsbarinka. Discuss logic puzzles. Bruhana. I've been doing a lot of stuff at work lately, working Lindsay. really hard. Efioba Frolus. I arrested a hacker the other day. It was really hard to decode uh, her <laughs> screen names, but I finally did it. Deep conversation. I really want to tell her that you really want to do something nice for Ned. Because now we're done hanging out with family. Togo, were you just eating what was on the floor? You totally were. Naughty puppy. Are you going to have a deep conversation with Hannah, Nancy? Oh, Hannah was going to put away the dishes. Ah, uh, Vula Shaka T. Yeah, I really want to do something Rax. nice for Ned. I have an idea, oh, and Hannah's that. like, oh, I think you should um, go out to this Chelsea. secret place that I heard about. Napa. And Nancy Chibi. will agree. Chibina. So what I'm going to have Nancy do, I want her to travel. Because while Nancy has been at work, she's obviously heard um, some kind of crazy theories about things that are going on in River Heights and the surrounding towns. She's heard a lot uh, of secrets, really, and some of them might have some validity, some of them might not. But one secret that Nancy has heard is that there is a place in the nearby town of Willow Creek where um, there might there there have been rumors of magic, really. Uh, which Nancy is going to want to check out because she's been really curious. She heard this at uh, work, and obviously Nancy cannot say no to anything interesting if she hears about it. So Nancy's going to go check out these rumors of magic. It's been told that there's this magical tree, and within the tree you can find all sorts of valuable fruits and vegetables. And since Nancy knows that Ned has been into gardening lately and has really been... Um, fostering that hobby and really getting quite good at it she probably wants to help him out with that and find some cool things for him oh it is thunderstorming here um and nancy is very tense about this and so is this guy um but if we go over here nancy is going to walk around and see what she can find see what's happening oh she's like oh my gosh that guy's language Woo. so it is raining quite hard here in willow green oh careful nancy her umbrella popped inside out. I think it's broken. Yep. From using her umbrella in bad weather. Who's this lady? Dorothy. I think she works with Dorothy, doesn't she? So Nancy um, is hanging out in the rain, checking out this tree here. Um, because it looks kind of mysterious, you know? It's got these mushrooms on it. No other trees in Willow Creek look like this. Oh. So I think she's oh, no. been a very curious about it. So let's have Nancy keep investigating this oh. tree. It's got a lot of crazy mushrooms. If we keep um, viewing it, Nancy is far too tense to do this. Oh, well, it's not our fault that it's thunderstorming. Hmm. Interesting. What else oh, do it? She's probably kind of upset about that. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. Well, the thunderstorming is kind of putting a kink in Nancy's plan here because she really wanted to explore this place. But you know, I thought I saw a community garden over here that Nancy could check out. Um, bluebells, apple tree, potato plant. Hey, Nancy, it's Frank. Do you want to hang out tonight? Um, not tonight, Frank. I don't think we're going to get the club together because we are going to be busy um, finding things to make Ned happy. This was not in the forecast, this thunderstorm. Okay, well let's have Nancy go home then. Maybe it will stop raining. It's only 4.40 and Ned doesn't get home until 9. So maybe we can uh, go home and do something else nice for him. I'm thinking a puppy is kind of what we need to do even though we're really struggling on bills. Is there anything we can like sell or any way we can make money really quickly? I mean, once Nancy goes to work tomorrow, she'll get uh, quite a bit of money and Ned will bring in some money today. But we're also selling a lot of, not selling, spending a lot of money very quickly as well. Rut row. 
We'll have to be careful. This is what happens when you move out to a new house. For a while, it takes um, a bit of time to uh, really get a lot of money. Okay, Nancy is uncomfortable because she's now sopping wet. So let's have her change into one of her other hot weather outfits. Let's have her change into um, this one. With the cute top. Oh. There we go. Ah. Yeah, she's feeling very oh. tense. Oh, poor thing. Okay, well, Nancy, what I want you to do is get on your phone here and hire a service. Hire a service. The Humor and Hijinks Festival is in town. You, we can actually get some pretty good money from the Humor and Hijinks Festival if you win. But you have to stay there the whole night. Okay, what do we... Oh my gosh, it's $200 to adopt a dog. Ugh. Nancy just really wants to do something nice for Ned. Is it worth getting a puppy? Let's just see if there's any any cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, there are cute ones. Look at this thing. Oh, it's the same kind of dog as Sleuth. Oh my gosh. Chris, the Australian cattle dog. That sounds like a big dog. Spencer is a new fundland. Those get big. And he's a puppy. Oh my gosh. Adeline is an Irish red and white setter. Nelson is a King Charles Spaniel. These look like little dogs. A German Spitz. She's a female. We could get a puppy. This is a Collie. We don't want to get the same dog as Sleuth, even though Donna is adorable. A Shetland Sheepdog. Talia is a Bulldog. An English Toy Spit. Two English Toy Spaniels. They probably were from the same litter. I bet they're brothers. Oh my gosh, cute. I'm really drawn towards Spencer. A Newfoundland is like a, just a really big, cuddly dog usually, and a puppy would be really cute. Let's invite it over. Show festival info too. Yeah, if we win, we get a bunch of fireworks, and it goes until 11 p.m. tonight. So I think maybe Nancy might go to the festival to try and get some money. Okay, here's the um, adoption person. Also, what's the other mail we have here, Nancy? Get the mail. Maybe there's something um, that we can sell. <laughs> Nancy's collected everything from the mailbox. What was in there? Oh, just the bills. Well, that's not nice. That's no fun. <gasps> Hell no. Oh my goodness, look at your puppy. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Nancy, um, go do a friendly introduction to this little bugaroo. Oh my gosh. No way. Look at him. Oh. He's jumpy, he's loyal, and he's a glutton. That sounds adorable. Pet him. Pet him. Give him odd pets. Oh, he can have a big treat because he's a glutton. That's adorable. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, praise him because he's so cute. Offer friendship. Arnarb, Quaba, soon up. Ask him to go potty. See if he has these skills. Okay, guys, we're we're getting this dog. We are absolutely one hundred percent getting this puppy. Because come on, look at it. Look at that puppy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't even. Shuttle cleaning. While servicing the latest dirty shuttle, Ned notices something strange. There's a greenish moss growing on the underside of the wings. If the shuttle really went to planet Myotki, there'd be a lot of meteorite debris and no moss. Should Ned ask his boss or not ask questions? There's moss growing on the underside of the wings. Is, is this like a conspiracy theory? <laughs> ask the boss. I don't, I don't know. I feel like Ned would be a little more cautious and he wouldn't ask questions. Nancy just became friends with the dog. Ned's paid to clean, not question authority. But after the second time the shuttle comes back with strange damage and markings, the bosses start to notice. Turns out the astronauts have been taking the shuttle on joyrides, and Ned could have put a stop to it if he'd spoken up earlier. Oops. Well, um, he didn't get in trouble. Like, he didn't lose any performance. Hug the puppy. Hug it. Do it. Please hug the puppy. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. 
Yes. Okay, we're adopting it. That's it. We're adopting the puppy. <laughs> we have money issues, and now we're going to have more money issues because this puppy is too stinking cute. I don't want to name it Spencer, though. Are you sure you... Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, we'll name it... Its last name can be Drew. Um... Should, or should it be, like, Nickerson Drew? No, you know what? Nancy is going to... We'll give it Drew as the last name. But what do we want to name it? I'm thinking of uh, previous games. There... We could name it after some other... Like, we could name it after other dogs that have been in the games. We could name it after one of the ghost dogs. Um, what are the ghost dogs' names? Iggy, Lucy, Xander, and... L-I-X. Which one am I missing? Which one am I missing? V, Vitus. Or, yeah, Vitus. Um, it is a boy. We could name it Vitus. Um, I kind of like Iggy, though, because Iggy was, like, the lazy one, and this one is a glutton. We could name him Iggy. Iggy. I like Iggy. I'm, gonna, I'm naming it Iggy. This is Iggy Drew. Iggy is adorable. Iggy! Oh, let, let me know what you guys oh, think about yeah. the name Iggy. If you guys hate it, we can always change it. But I think he's so cute. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at you, Iggy. Look at that little Iggy. Hey, I heard you became friends with Hannah Groon. She's pretty cool. Yeah, we know, Bess. Hannah is pretty great. Okay. Um. Okay, we need to get some pet stuff. Which, again, we're putting ourselves even more in debt here. Do we have anything? Oh, we can sell this from getting our promotion at work. Okay, well, that's good. That made it for a little bit of the money. <laughs> this is not smart decision making, guys. I am not uh, leading by example here. We need pet stuff. We, we'll just get the basics. We'll get a little puppy bed, and we'll get a food bowl and some toys. Pets. Okay, let's get him just like a basic food bowl. We don't want to get one of the fancy ones. We can't afford that. We'll just get a cute little doggy bowl. We'll match our, maybe just the black bone one. And we'll put it right here by the wall. Um, and do a little move objects cheat so I can get it closer to the wall. I think right about, right about here would be good. And then we'll get him a little, uh, puppy bed. Can we put it in Nancy and Ned's room? Yes, we can. Let's put it, let's put it just right in between their chairs here. And they have kind of a peachy theme going on. That's sort of close, but also kind of clashes. Is this one more? Kind of. Kind of. How about this one? Oh, that's pretty close. Let's use this one. Cute little puppy bed right in between their chairs here. And we need some toys. Let's just get him a ball. Um, I don't want to get him like the whole toy box because that's kind of expensive. So let's get him a little ball. What's a cute ball? They're all cute. The little rainbow one. Oh no, I like the little green one. I don't know why, but I like it. Okay, we're getting him a cute little green tennis ball. And that should be good. So that wasn't too bad. Oh, you know what? We need a rug under his bowl. Pets are so messy. I know we don't need it because it's The Sims and it's not actually a huge issue, but it really is. Pets are super messy. Um, I'm guessing it's under rugs? Yes, here we go. Yeah, and it's only $10. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. That's fine, she says. I'll just spend up all our money. Okay. Let's um, fill the bowl and call our little glutton puppy to eat, if I can. Fill and call Iggy to eat. Come on, little Iggy. Come on, you little Iggy Miggy. Teru, sweet. <laughs> He's so excited. Food. <laughs> Food. Yes, Ned will be so excited. Iggy is a glutton pet. Gluttons like to eat a lot, very messily. Well, see, even better that we got um, the little mat. Look at this little stinking cutie. He's so tiny. He's going to get big, though. He is going to be a big doggy. Okay, Nancy is going to use the bathroom, and then let's go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Your adoption evaluation appointment is ending. Good. 
So Iggy is ours now, and I'm so excited. So when Ned gets home, he's going to just see the puppy there, and it'll be a cool surprise for him because he will not be expecting that at all. And then Nancy is going to come home, hopefully having uh, won some money at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Let's just we, – can we invite, like, Bess and George along with us? I'm worried the whole club is going to come, though, because that's what's been happening, and I don't want Ned to, like – come with us you know what I mean because he's at work and I don't want him to leave work I want him to keep making money I just want the girls we've we've tried to do girls nights before and it's <laughs> it's always been a bit of a struggle okay where is the humor and hijinks festival the spice festival and the flea market are here this is the romance festival and geek con and this is the humor and hijinks festival okay so we'll go to the art gallery so we'll travel here and do Humor and Hijinks Festival stuff and hopefully get a lot of money. Maybe we can um, loop Bess and George into helping us. Took another sip of my tea. We will join the Jokesters, um, not the Mischief one. I think it's like the Jokesters and the... I can't remember what the other one is called. One helps you get your comedy skill up and the other is your Mischief skill. And comedy is just generally less dangerous than the mischief skill, so I think we'll go with that. Should go well. Hopefully. I'm planning on making a lot of money here. But we do have to stay until the very end of the Romance Festival, which is at 11 p.m. So again, Ned is going to get home before us, and he's going to see Iggy there. <laughs> we'll pretend that Nancy like left a sign on the door, like... Um, I left you a present inside. I hope you like it. And then he'll open the door and it'll be Iggy. The pranksters and jokesters, yes. Drink from either the dark or light tea to join a side to start. Oh, Carson's here. Okay, Bess is here and George is here. Is it just Bess and George or where is everyone else? Because I just want Bess and George. Joke about politicians. Because we'll join the jokesters. Okay, this is the prankster's tea. We want this tea. Um, join the jokesters together. There's George. Okay, Chet is here. Chet, you can come join with us too. I think um, being funny is one of our things that we have to do. Yeah, eat, drink bar drinks. We don't want to excavate anymore. Um, we don't want to drink bar drinks necessarily. We want to drink tea. Unless this counts as a bar drink. Either way. Okay, good. We're all drinking um, the Jokester's Hi. tea together. Chet is getting some. Bess is getting some. Bess looks really cute in this outfit, by the way. Very cute. Drink your tea, Bess. Where'd Nancy go? Okay, she and Chet are sitting over here. There's her dad. Her dad must have come here after work. Let's chat with um, Chet a little bit. We need to do some funny interactions with him. Let's do uh, a knock-knock joke. Perform comedy interactions to gain points for your team. Okay, we're drinking our lava tea. It looks like <laughs> that looks so cool, though. Um, can, is telling a funny story something? This samba. What else, what else is funny? Uh, um, Yanabi. Impersonate the pranksters. It looks like only some of the club members are here, which is fine. I don't want everyone here, just some. Uh, we're impersonating the pranksters. We're not doing uh, a whole lot of funny stuff yet, Nancy. Impossible sausage mime. Get to know ah. Chet a little bit more, too, because, Oops. I mean... Zombo skiba. Uh, what kind Zuba of joke tube? is this? Zuba. We don't like to see those kinds of jokes, Nancy. <laughs> Chet is a music lover, a dance machine, and active. And we, we like, barely know Chet, so we definitely need to get to know him a little bit more, so all of these funny interactions will be great. Good times, good times. Let's do one more funny, funny, one more funny interaction with him. Oh, hello, bar, bar guy's head. Uh, <laughs> do funny interactions, Nancy. She looks like she's really excited, like to like tell him this joke, but she's just not doing it. <laughs> she's just kind of like, hee 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 hee. I have this funny uh, joke. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna be hilarious. Oh, Look at me. Tell a joke about penguins. Yes, uh, penguins are hilarious. Okay, George is having some ramen, it looks like. Oh no, is that faux? That's faux. 
let's can we go like do funny interactions with Bess? Why aren't you guys being funny? Oh. We need to win. Uh, we get oh. prizes for this. <laughs> um, do an impression for Ooh. Bess. Oh, Nancy has reached comedy level four. Not bad, Nancy. We haven't gotten any um, idea of how many points we're getting here, but I think the jokesters are already pretty far ahead. Yep, they're in the lead by four. Cool, cool. I love this music, too. Yeah, it looks like almost everyone is on the jokesters except for this lady. Ulrike Faust. <laughs> she looks really kind of sad about it, too. She's like, oh, we're not going to win. There's only one of me. Oh, there's two. Okay. Wolfgang Munch is here, too. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, Nancy. How are you talking to Bess? She's way over here. Is it, Wait, where'd Bess go? Did she come over here? Oh, she's standing behind the bar. Zambas. Ned got home three hundred and six dollars so. today. He did some great work too. Oh. He's probably at home right now. Right now, like what, <laughs> what just happened? Um, why is there a puppy here? Let's do some more funny stuff with Bess. Um, let's tell her a knock knock joke. We don't want to joke about fashion with Bess because Bess takes fashion very seriously. I mean, look at her beautiful outfit. Pretty obvious that she takes it seriously. Um, we can be sarcastic about it. Uh, tell Bess a funny story. Remember when we were in New Orleans, Bess, and you had to break in to the uh, Lamont's shop? Remember that? She's telling Chet. It was great. Bess did such an amazing job. Bess did, yeah, I totally did. <laughs> it was pretty funny when I had to spray pepper into poor Lamont's face. Basically, it was pepper. I mean, it was like a, what, like a sneezing powder? Impossible sausage mine. Do that with Bess. Chet. Eva. Do another funny interaction with Chet. Be sarcastic about voodoo. And can we get George over here, too? She's just sitting all by herself. George! Come be funny with us. Um, funny. Let's speak a joke about fashion with George. Uh, we could slash crazy eyes. Joke about politicians with George. If we can get her to come over. We need to be careful, too. Um, we don't want to get too many. Ooh, Nancy now reached comedy level five. I think um, comedy and mischief skill must go up very quickly if you are at the Humor and Hijinks Festival. This is kind of fun. We're hanging out with Chet and Bess and George. So it's kind of a ladies' night, um, plus Chet. <laughs> Chet has joined the pate. Um, tell George a funny story. Give us some funny interactions. Bess, why are you sitting so far away, Bess? <laughs> Oh. And why aren't any of you guys being funny? Oh, it's almost 11.30 though, which is good, because that's when, um... Wait, wasn't this supposed to end at 11? Darfi. Himna Vazib. Uh, can we uh, joke about poke fun at pranksters? Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. Now we're all just sitting at the bar together. This is great. Very fun. Grubble nerds. Can I get like a good angle of all of them farm. just hanging out at the bar together with the fire? Gosh, See, this would be great if the bar didn't here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. We got some pretty cute uh, pictures of Iggy. Ooks. Zombo Skiba. Zubatube. Lava Zubi. Can the festival be done yet? Like, why hilarious repartee? Nancy is um, being real funny, it looks like. Nancy does not own this item. Come on, we want to... The jokesters are in the lead by five. Keep performing interactions for the Okay, Nancy is staying out late tonight in the interest of making money so that they can pay bills. They're already at 529, which is good, um, because Ned brought home some good money from work. Um, <laughs> Beneath Lerva. 
be sarcastic or about voodoo. Nurtual. <laughs> Chet must have like helped Nancy and then move because he's talking about all the movie. He's like, yeah, they had so many boxes. <laughs> Good thing we had all that music going, right, Nancy? Skiba, She's like, Vimpa, yes. Vimpa, but Vimpa. let's be sarcastic about voodoo now because we need more money. Uh, joke about fashion. Wait, you're not George. <laughs> George, you look so different. <gasps> we did it. The jokesters win. All jokesters have received a comedy mic, fireworks, and $500. Yay! Let's watch the fireworks. Oh my gosh. Pretty. Cool. Okay, Nancy, can you like watch the fireworks? Why are we not watching the fireworks? Don't extinguish it. Go watch. Go here together. Let's all watch the fireworks. Ah, uh, so pretty! Oh, there they go! Oh, Frank's here now, too. See, Frank, we did end up hanging out tonight. He, he must have come here after work. Maybe he was busy. Oh, look at the fireworks. It's so cool. I really want to, like... Oh, wow. What a cool evening. This is so fun. And now Nancy can go home and tell Ned, guess what I did for us. Okay, good job, Nancy. Let's end the gathering. And Nancy is going to go home now. She's going to give Ned a big hug. And we're going to sell the fireworks and the comedy mic that she has in her inventory. Um, so in addition to the $500, we'll also get some more money for uh, selling those items. I don't think we'll make it all the way up to $2,600 so we won't be able to pay our bills, but after work tomorrow, we should be okay. Should be okay. Mm, tea is delicious. Tea is so good. I'm so excited to see Ned and uh, see what he thinks about Iggy. Iggy can climb stairs, right? Because we put the pet bed up in our bedroom. I hope Iggy can climb stairs. Well, yeah, he would have had to because he climbed, or maybe he didn't because maybe he was set down there. Maybe Nancy has to carry him upstairs. I don't know. Okay, where's Ned? Where are you, Ned? Here he is. He's probably leaving Nancy a note, like, or no, maybe he's reading Nancy's note again because he just cannot believe it. Let's have Ned come out and give Nancy a big hug. Um, give her a hug. Oh, they'll have this cute moment outside. Pet obsessions. Like almost all pets, Iggy can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Of course, Iggy is obsessed with the fridge. That's adorable. Fribs! Ned's like, Nancy, Aww. thank you so much. Iggy is so cute. Um, inside joke. Huh? I was so surprised when I came in. I had no idea that there would be a puppy here. It was so... So great. Hug lovingly. <laughs> give her another hug. And then give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. Pando. Snursh wallabepso. Um, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <Shuna>. Kiss. <laughs> oh. She's like, yes, I knew that would surprise you. Oh, He's so like, so oh, you're the best girlfriend oh, ever. Is. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, yes. Nice kiss. And now she can tell him um, maybe an engaging story about when she was out Buddha. tonight. Um, friendly. <laughs> tell a story. Tell a tell an engaging story. She's oh, like, so when I was out tonight, uh, we huh? won. Hey, the club and I won. Is this a beamy? A bunch Zoom. of money, Rude. so it'll help us Bring pay the bills for this whisk. month. Isn't that Johnny. awesome? These dinosaur-sized bills. <laughs> it's pretty Frost great. Amazy. Well, and Ned will be so proud of her. He's like, that's so amazing, Nancy. And I am exhausted now. I'm going to go to bed. Nancy, good work. He, I'm sure, really appreciates it. But it is 1.40 in the morning, so it's definitely time for bed. Um, can we ask our little cutie pie here to go potty, and then maybe we can bring him upstairs and sleep, oh, have him sleep in his little pet bed. Nay. <laughs> I'm gonna go into build mode Aww. real quick and just sell the items that Nancy had put in her family inventory. This uh, mic here, 
which we can sell for $250. And then she'll have a bunch of fireworks in her inventory. Here we go. We'll sell both of these for $140. And then both of these for $100. Not bad, Nancy. Oh, there's more. 40, okay. And then 60. Not bad. She, yeah, she made a pretty good chunk of change while she was out tonight. So she definitely made up for buying a puppy. Um, as far as cash goes, <laughs> which is good. Let's have Nancy go here. She's going to be kind of tired for work tomorrow, but it's okay. She'll survive. Good boy. Good boy. Let's mop that up. Look how he walks. Iggy's little walk is the <laughs> cutest thing ever. He's just kind of like, oh, where'd he go? <laughs> he just teleported back. Iggy, you are a ghost dog. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> Stop teleporting, Iggy. Iggy, you ghost dog. You mischievous little ghost dog. Let's pick him up. Let's pick him up. And then we're going to carry him upstairs. Oh. <laughs> they come here, you Floss. little cutie pie. You're going to come upstairs with me. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, let's go um, put Iggy down here. Because I don't think he can go up the stairs. Look at how she has to carry him. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see what Iggy looks like when he grows up. He is going to be so adorable. And let's have Nancy. Um, I want her to ask to lie down Iggy. Wibisook! Lie down in your bed. <laughs> lie down in your cute little bed. Look at him hop. Look at him hop. So cute. Is he going to do it? Is he going to lay down? Grump! Oh, Zuri. She's like, <laughs> he won't listen to me. <laughs> oh, well. Go to sleep, Nancy. He'll probably lay down when you're both sleeping. At least he knows where he's supposed to be. Oh, so cute. Oh, my gosh. Yes. No, he didn't lay down. <laughs> Do it, Iggy. <laughs> lay down, you little cutie pie. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Please let me know what you think of our beautiful new puppy, Iggy. I think Iggy is adorable. Let me know if you like his name. I think it's very fitting. Um, he's a little ghost dog since he's teleporting all over the house. Iggy, your bed is right there. Sleep in your bed, silly goose. Ugh. Goodness gracious. And um, Nancy got some more money. We will probably explore the mystery tree that we tried to explore in the, earlier um, in another part. But in our next part, we will be with the River Heights friends at their house. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.